All right. What's up? Well, Honda Pilot. Wife's Honda Pilot. Making a bunch of weird noises when you first started up in the morning. I was afraid it was something to do with the engine. Weird. It just had a weird sound, like a humming. Also, great deep humming. Well, I end up taking the belt off, serpentine belt off, just to check all my pulleys. All my pulleys looked good, except for my idler and my tensioner. So you can listen. See if I can get get the mic close up. Kind of make a little bit of a weird noise. This one had some play in it. Um, so this is a real booger to get out. So if you ever have to change one of these on a 2012, I didn't want to have to take the fender out and the wheels. I wanted to try to do it. Take out as little crap as possible. So the only thing I did, kind of show you, pop my power steering thing off of here. And then your overflow, is this the overflow? Yeah, radiator overflow. I just popped it off of there and just kind of leaned it to the side. And way you can get access to your um, pulley tensioner. And I, I grabbed a 14 millimeter socket. And then... I grabbed one of my long ratchets and a pipe to fit on it. And I slip that pipe on there, like so. I wiggle that in there onto my tensioner. And then I rotate it towards the cab, enough to slip the belt off. I made sure I made me a diagram. Of how the belt goes back on. So the serpentine system will go back on. Exactly like that. Just took me a little sharpie. Silver sharpie. And jogged it down. For my memory. So. <clears throat> 14 millimeter. Get this off. So I was thinking. Okay. I can just knock that. Or pull this one out. And this whole thing will come off. Came down here. Wiggled my hand down in here. Got it out. And then it stopped. Didn't move anymore. So then I started looking around, looking around, figuring out like there's something still holding this on. Sure enough. One 12 millimeter bolt. Just like so. So this is going to go so far. And it's going to hit your frame. Then you're going to get you a... Use your ratchet. Get you a 12 mil millimeter deep weld. Stick that in there. Then what you're going to do is go right below this. And you'll feel it. It'll just kind of go like that. And then you'll feel it. Break that dude loose. A couple of turns and it, it turned freely after that. And I just spun it off. Well, took the ratchet off and then I did the rest like this. Took it off, and then the whole thing pops right out of there, and then you just kind of wiggle it out like that. So, got that done. Now, got to go up to the house and go order it. Where's the house? Up there. Oh. Go get a new one. Oh, I wasn't planning on working, this, working on this today, but... It's making weird noises. I might as well fix it. Uh, got to get back on the charger. Uh, I got my check valve. Show you guys that. Got my new check valve. So you can kind of blow on one end. There ain't no air coming out of that way. Air coming out now. So. This part will hook to the fuel pump. This will go to the carb. 
and the gas will not, once we shut it off, it won't uh, bleed off. So the bowl should stay full. New carburetor is coming in um, Friday. And uh, cross our fingers that it's the same one. All right, let's go order some crap. And then we'll finish the Honda Pilot up. Peace out. This is the hole we're trying to get to. This is the old tensioner. So, looks like we're sitting in there about like that. That looks like it should be about right. Because that other hole was offset. Alright. we got to be pretty dang close. Yeah, I feel it hitting. I'm gonna rotate it. Oh, I think I got it. Yep. Now that's all. You're doing this all blindfolded, basically. But I got it started. I have got it started. We're home free now, buddy. I probably should have seen what bolt size that was. I think it's a 12 millimeter. <laughs> oh, you dumb. You should have. Should already had your wrench out here. I'm just slowly turning it a little bit at a time with my fingers. Anyway, that's where we're at. You can see the tensioner right here. We got her in, so now it's ready to tighten it. I mean, I recommend taking a wheel off and uh, uh, inner fender and all that but I don't know I didn't do that I, I was able to blindly do it we're getting it we're getting it and we're just tighten her up tighten her up buttercup hoping to beat the rain it's sprinkling. I can handle a little sprinkle. Boy, she sprinkles her a little chilly. Just a little bit on the nippy side. This ought to make morning starts a little quieter. Okay, I better slow down there for a minute because it feels like something's coming loose. I don't know if I just lost that bolt. Oh, it's still in there. I need to tighten it. That, I think it's a 12 millimeter. I need to go get a 12 millimeter wrench. All right, get me a 12. Let's see if I. I think it was a 12. We'll have to find out. There again, you can't see what you're doing. You're just all by feel. Close your eyes and hold your breath. And, yep, it's a 12. And uh, or you got your wrench turned the right way. I think I do. It's tightening. It's tightening. All right. Oh, I slipped off. No, no, no. Don't slip off. Stay on there. Oh, no. Need another hand down there. I don't know if I can get my other hand down there. There it goes. There it goes. Stay on the wrench. Oh, 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 pull the muscle, pull the muscle, oh, no, no, oh, pull the muscle, muscle came to talk, they pulled everything out, oh, oh, gosh, ooh, oh, should have stretched, should have stretched, keep telling myself, should have done that. Always stretch before you start stretching into in, in something like this. <sighs> Alright, back at it. Ain't nobody got time to for muscle cramps. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Shoot. Almost said it. Um, I'm 
trying to trying to switch my hand around and see if I can use my other arm. That's not working out. So I'm gonna have to go back this way. I think I may go get a I'm gonna get a deep weld socket because this is what I'm using. I'll kind of show you how I'm putting that wrench in there, putting one finger on here. Now well, I got it like this. So I got one putting pressure on the the bolt, and I got the other finger doing this, keeping pressure here, using the other finger to go up. And just like that, a little at a time. She's tight now. Now I need somehow to get a better grip so I can give her just a little extra oomph. So since this is a shorty, I think we're going to go get a deep weld. Deep weld socket and a wrench. So go get that. We just need just a little extra oomph. All right. Get us a extension and this. Now it's probably going to be too long. Uh, see what happens. I'm gonna have to go to uh, a deep well or a shallow socket. Let's see what is that? Gotta get this done. This thing's frustrating me. I bought some uh, new LED lights for the Jeep. Uh, just the replacement bulbs. That way you keep the factory look, but it, these LED bulbs I bought are supposed to be really, really bright. We'll see. Alright, that's good and tight. That's good and tight. All right, that feels good, that feels good. We're ready for our belt. Hmm, what's going on here? Yep, I'm right, I'm right. Second guessing myself. Underneath that, now we're gonna go underneath the alternator. And then we're gonna go back underneath the tensioner. So, all right, guys, I whooped its ass. That's the old one. Mm. Oh, man, that thing kicked my butt. We got her. Well, I hope. Uh, so I end up having to take this one bolt out, separate that a little bit. That way my wrench can come out and pass between these two just enough so I can get that damn belt on. It whooped my butt. I didn't think I was ever going to get it on. I don't remember it being that hard last time, but um, let's start her up and uh, see if uh, the belt's tracking good and make sure it ain't going to make some weird noises. It's still making some weird noises. I don't know if you can hear it on the camera. I was hoping it was the pulley. And it was definitely bad. It almost sounds like lifters. Once it warms up, it stops. Definitely sounds better than what it been. I'm going to have to do some more investigation. Hasn't been started up in about a few weeks now.
Now it's getting back to a normal sound. It's definitely a little quieter, but it's definitely didn't fix the problem I thought it was going to be. What do you guys think? I'm like a lifter. And again, I have a timing belt kit. I need to get the belt put on. It may be the tensioner. You know what? It may be the tensioner on the timing belt. I think the water pump and the tension is all underneath this crap. I bought the kit, the timing belt kit, uh, last year. I've been putting it off and putting it off. It's, uh, where is it? It's up there. I think it's that box right over there, but it's got the water pump, the pulley. Tensioner uh, and the belt, of course. Well, that may be a winter project. We'll start doing that timing belt. It's nice and quiet now. Drive her till she won't run no more. All right, I guess tomorrow. It's not raining, which it's probably going to rain. Uh, I need to finish the, uh, where is it, uh, Yukon. I bought, uh, got a new radiator for it, um, new hoses, all that good stuff. So, this is done for now. Remember, keep it cheap and easy. Peace out. Signing off.